What? What is that? What's up, everybody? This is Tower Seven Two Hundred here, listening news in my messy ass multimedia lab. But today, I'm going to be showing you a Dell Octuplex Seven Fifty Five Small Form Factor Gaming Rig. Alright, this machine is actually a freebie that's going to my friend Gavin. Now, before anyone else asks, uh, can I have a computer? I do not make computers for people I don't know. Matter of fact, normally, I charge people when I make these machines. It's technically not even free for him. What he's doing is, he's buying me a Xeon X3370 in trade for this system. I said I'd pay for shipping, free of charge. So once he, he gets that Xeon, I'll trade it right over to him. This machine has a total of 5 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the system has Windows 7. It has Ultimate, I'm pretty sure on it. I think it has Ultimate. I'm not entirely sure. And the system has an NVIDIA GeForce GT610, 3 gigahertz Core 2 Dual E8400. This is the top dog chip you can get from Intel. It's the highest chip you can possibly get in the Core 2 Dual line. I did a really funny job. With the modification with this uh, graphics card, this, is this this is an ASUS uh, cooling heat sink that goes on here. Its main purpose is to quietly cool the system, and these heat sinks are pretty large and they're pretty fancy looking. Look at that. Um, but if I were to mount this in the case, it would not work because of the hard drive. So my solution was to put this is hilarious, but I put an AMD Radeon um, cooler on. <laughs> And there was no plug-in for the cooling, so I just wired it directly to the floppy drive connector. Let's turn it on. It's doing its power on self-test right now. And let's just kick back and enjoy the ride. The system takes a little bit to boot because it has to do a very long power on self-test for every reason. But, um, it's a fast booter. And it works like it's brand new. It's got a 160 gigabyte hard drive. Nothing really fantastic hard drive wise. Uh, it's, its main goal is to play Minecraft. I bet the system could very well play GTA. It is very possible. It wouldn't play it well, especially CPU wise. But I was originally making this video because I wanted to overclock this system. The front side bus, I wanted to overclock it. The front side bus in these Dell Ultiplex 755s are running at default. I think they're around... I don't know what they're around by default, but I figured I might want to make this video. But as you can see, like the graphics are not bad in this system. The graphics are decent. And if you want to get an overall view of the specs of this system, there you go. There you go. Intel Core 2 Dual E8400, 3 gigahertz, 5 gigabytes of RAM, only 487, or yeah, 87 are usable, 64 bit, and it meets a 4.8 Windows inspect rate. It's probably the, yeah. Graphics is a 4.8. I have no idea why it's that like that, but gaming graphics is a 6.5. Primary hard drive is a 5.4. And processor is a 6.5. Now this machine literally cost me nothing to make. I kid you not. This machine made me nothing to, cost me nothing to make. I had the GT610s laying around. The the uh, processor was laying around and so was the RAM. So this system was practically when I made it, it was practically free. I tried overclocking the system once, it ter failed terribly, but who says I can't do it again? <laughs> Alright, one last time here. Oh, it looks like
All right. It would appear that I was right. You see the clock right underneath there? That right there is over the overall, um, the current, the uh, select clock speed. See? And we've actually got the thing to where it's actually displaying as correct. So this system is overclocked at 3.4 gigahertz. Now we can close this. If I go to Firefox and I go ahead and pull up uh, CPU-Z, I don't know if I have it on my network. We can overall see the system is still going to display it's at 3 gigahertz, but it's at 3.4. So, there we go. Uh, www.google. I'll just pause the video and restart it once I get to the, uh, what's the name, CPU-Z installed. Whoopsie, I stopped recording, but uh, got the system overclocked and... Uh, the video card at least, and the CPU, and uh, yeah, how does that for you? <laughs> That's ridiculous, look at that. And this is running really smooth, like, you know, let me make full screen here. I don't know, it's probably gonna go down full screen, but look. It's obviously because I'm running more, more pixels, but look at this. That's why I'm looking at the house or the shop, and that's why I'm not. Looking at the shop? Not looking at it. And keep in mind of the uh, the settings here. This is not low, medium settings. This is like completely maxed out. Graphics are set to fancy, smooth lighting set to maximum, everything set to max, except the render distance that's around 12, which is actually what my server allows. It doesn't go past 12, my server. So practically everything's maxed out here. I, I don't have any shaders on. This system can't really do shaders well, but this system is maxed. Or the uh, settings are maxed, and look at the frame rate. Pretty damn good. I definitely say Gavin's paying me an 80 bucks CPU for this thing, and I'm practically giving him a decent ass gaming machine for 80 bucks worth. So I hope he likes that. That should be really awesome. So anyhow, that's it for this video. I just want to kind of show this awesome multiplex system kicking ass at Minecraft. If you didn't think these systems could even be like in some ways used again, like I turn these systems into gaming machines all the time. It's practically my living. I turned, not the small form factor, this is like maybe the second small form factor system I turned into a gaming machine, at least of this model. But um, I practically take the mid-tower desktop ones, I turn them into gaming machines all the time, and this is what you experience, guys. When you have shitty hardware and you overclock it, it's really good of a performance boost. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set presets for this for Gavin so he can automatically set this thing up and game on it and max and see how well he'll do. And... By the way, I was full screen there. Oh, it's actually running a lot higher now. Oh, I think I know why. It's because Afterburner uses a bunch of CPU. Anyhow, we go to process here and look at Java W, which is basically... Yeah, Minecraft is definitely using a lot more out of the CPU than last time, but whatever. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.